Welcome and welcome back one and all fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host Galadon. It is my favorite account, No Cash Clash, and 186 episodes in, and I can see Town Hall 13 off in the distance. Okay, so obviously we are getting caught up still. I know, yeah, I know, and it's one of those things where actually today's episode will cover something like about two weeks worth of content and the next episode i promise you gets you guys all the way caught up now of course there's a huge wall grind here at town hall 12 so obviously we're going to be here a while you know i say i can see town hall 13 in the distance but it is a great distance i just happen to have really really good eyesight and i'm looking forward to what is to come imagine free to play town hall 13 i know that's that's crazy for me to think that i would ever do that way back in the day when I was just known as the biggest gemmer ever. Okay, so Archer Queen going to level 54. Excited about that. We've got lots of Dark Elixir because we have been raiding like crazy and we've been pretty much down to like the two attacks, either Sneaky Goblins or Baby Dragons. Yes, I know. I told you we had already seen the last Baby Dragon attack or maybe I told you that on the other account, right? Okay. Well, either way, okay, here we go. So check it out. As you can see, nothing to do for virtually a week right here. We had the Archer Queen down and all of the camps had about 10 days to go. So just not a lot to do. And the account took about a six day break. We came back and here we are. This is uh, where the account was just about a week later. You can see that the Archer Queen was just about to finish up. It was time to do an upgrade in the lab. My first thought was, oh man, got to do goblins because I'm using sneaky goblins so much. But also remember, we have lots and lots of league medals. In fact, we have so many. Look at that, over 1,000. And we bought every single hammer that was available in the shop. So, you know, it's going to speed things up. Obviously, the spells and the fighting going to help out with the lab, the hammers of building. I'm not sure I usually use those around a new town hall but let's get into the lab and get that upgrade going because currently it's the only thing we had so since we have a hammer now the thought is okay fine let's go hammer something that's really crazy expensive that's going to take a long time to upgrade and save us a lot of specifically probably dark elixir so it came down to pretty much a no-brainer it's two hundred and forty thousand for the level nine hog rider and just as important, saving 14 days of upgrade time. So then we can go back in and, okay, since since we just did the Hog Riders and now they're maxed out for Town Hall 12, why not, you know, focus on the war attack. And I, I okay, here's the thing, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do the miners, but I will tell you that it is super important to do your Barbarians and your Archers because those are tied to your hero abilities, okay? You hit that Barb King ability or the Archer Queen ability, and it's the level that you've got in the lab that pops out to assist. Where they come from, I'm not quite sure, but okay. So there you go. Now we will be back in less than a day because the Archer Queen will finish her upgrade, and uh, well, we'll see what we do next. But there she is. Okay, she's got like six hours. And by the way, we will review the Town Hall 12 Troll Trap base in the next episode of No Cash Clash. So watch for that. Should be exciting. We'll see if it's still working. In the meantime, we are still working on walls. And by the way, every now and then in my videos, people say, Galadon, you sound sad or tired or I don't know. And I'm afraid that it might be coming through in my voice today because I'll tell you right now, as I'm recording this, I'm fighting a bit of food poisoning. Yeah, that happy hour shrimp burrito has come back to bite me in the, well, you get the point. So yeah, I'm a little bit drained or so to speak right now. So uh, may not be 100%. Just letting you guys know that right now as we, you know, get into the next attack. Okay, speaking of attacks, this right here will be the last baby dragon attack in this account. So I wanted to celebrate it by talking about use code Galadon over it because I know you guys have seen enough baby dragon attacks, but you probably have not seen... The reminder often enough recently to use code Galadon every seven days, remembering that it doesn't cost you anything and half goes back to charity, right? Okay, see? That was painless. That was so painless, right? Definitely less painful than food poisoning. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, upgrading walls. So we got a lot of walls upgraded this episode, but as you can see, we've got a long ways to go. We are begging, borrowing, and stealing from everywhere we can. 
And then, of course, we're also focused on the storages. Notice we've got a lot of storage upgrades to go, and we want to get that done for two reasons. One, max value out of runes, and number two, just to hold more when we're raiding. Okay, Archer Queen, level 55, on her way. Notice I did resist using the hammer. I kind of wanted to, but no, okay. And then another storage. So we get another storage going, and then, oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys this, specifically going to be the last baby dragon attack. And there was a reason, I'll go ahead and fast forward it, but there's a reason I wanted to show you guys this one, okay? Because watch the ending right here. As the balloons roll in, as the heroes go in, it is going to be close and it's, you know, it's kind of fun, but the point, okay, now I remember, I'll be honest with you guys, I actually didn't think about why I um, put this in the video until right now. Okay, the point is, if I had attacked this village with sneaky goblins, I guarantee you I get all of the loot. I did leave behind a few hundred thousand loot. And see, you know, the brain is a little bit fuzzy today, but we remembered that, yeah, I just kind of wanted to illustrate the fact that, hey, sneaky goblins are going to be more effective than baby dragons, so use them unless you are in desperate need of dark elixir and are not that active. Because I'll tell you, you're going to get your dark elixir back using the sneaky goblins, but the problem is you need to be raiding a lot in order to do it. Okay, uh, what? The, 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 the progress base is a little bit crowded right now, right? Okay, we're going to have to redesign this pretty soon, but for now, squeeze it in there, and okay, we're off. Uh, just a couple more, three more storages to go. We'll have the storages fully maxed out. Now, notice where we are. Yes, that's right. For those of you keeping track, we are now nine days later than the beginning of this episode. We have definitely gone through a lot right here, and again, not a great deal of raiding. I did save you from having to watch a bunch of Dirty Baby Dragon raids. Uh, the last one, Definitely, I'm sure we, we've already seen, right? Okay, there's another wall upgrade or two. And then, let's see, where are we going to be heading? I, we need to get those storages done. So recently, as I've been playing this account, I kind of get in the mode of, I want to upgrade all of the same things at once. All of the camps, and then all of the storages, and then all of the archer towers, and then all of, the, you know, I just feel like that's kind of cool. I, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but that's what I'm going to do. This right here is the last dirty baby dragon spam raid that this account is ever going to see and the reason i included this one in the video is um also a mystery i guess maybe it was just because you guys would be oh i know it was because it was a three star and i'm like hey look i can three star with baby dragons okay even though what i just said oh just never mind okay we finished a gold storage and we also have moved back up in trophies then we're going to move back down but we've got back up to master two for Town Hall 12, I figure that's a pretty good spot. We could go higher. We may just kind of range up into Champion League just to see what it's like up there. But recently, because of the Town Hall 14 update, I feel like the really big loot bases have been very, very hard to find. Okay, almost have the storages done. One more Elixir storage and we will be complete. So we can move on to the next day. And of course, we've got a little bit more loot. We've got full Dark Elixir this time and nowhere really to spend it. So while we're focusing on grinding those walls, we've got one Builder free and tons of Dark Elixir. Not a lot otherwise, but we just had enough to get that last Elixir storage going. So there we go. Elixir storages are done. Gold storages are done. Dark Elixir is full. And we pretty much just needed an excuse to do Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers because I got tired of Baby Dragons. So the Barbarian King, he didn't have a Builder free anyway, you guys. So he can't get upgraded quite yet. We buy the Builder Potion. That is going to reduce the time on Miners by a day. Cannot wait to get them done and be a little bit stronger in war. And then, like I said, the Barb King, he can wait, right? The Archer Queen is more important, at least in my book. Because, um, well, okay. I just said that, and now I'm raiding without the Archer Queen. Wait, you... Oh, upgrading the Archer Queen is more important. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. The, the, you want the Archer Queen to be a higher level, but you don't want her to be like 10 levels. Like 5, I think, is probably pretty good. Anyway, this is the first boosted raid. I apologize, you guys. This video is going to be all over the place. And Okay, I attacked this base not because it had a massive amount of loot available, obviously, but because I wanted to showcase the strength of a well-executed Sneaky Goblin and Super Wall Breaker attack, even with the wrong clan castle i still had the clan castle from the baby dragons but it worked out look at them roll in they get the clan castle here and that's right 100 percent of the loot out of a town hall 13 i mean 
way stronger than baby dragons. And look at what I have left. Four jump spells, four wall breakers, 27 sneaky goblins. We could move on and snipe somewhere else. Just a bit of an illustration of how strong that raid really is. Okay, thank goodness. It's time for the status report. Okay, finally. <laughs> Trophies are back up. Like I said, we gained about 400 trophies today back into Master 2. So just kind of exploring over there. We only lost a couple of gems net. So we're at 679 gems. The heroes, they are getting there. Like I said, I haven't even begun to work on the Barbarian King yet. And my favorite pet I've decided is the Chia. I, you know, I heard that somewhere and I had to put that in the video. Okay, next goals. Be sneakier and let's see if I can get this outro done because Galifam. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it. appreciate every single one of you today. So get out there. Make the best of the rest of the day. Kind of better. Oh, this man. Oh, 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 oh. More attacks. I think I just pooped myself. A little bit. Galigon. Galigon, are you okay? Get off the floor. Come on, man.